Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking at the peak logarithmic regression band. We're gonna be looking at theoretical tops if we were able to go to the top of this band in the not so distant future. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So. The regression band, the reason I use it is because you can you can essentially boil down Bitcoin's growth according to the peaks into one simple mathematical equation that looks like this, where y is equal to 10 raised to the power a ln of x minus b. Now, we know there's going to be some uncertainty with only three data points. Ideally, we would have eight data points. Uh, to have a, a lot more certainty with this fit. With only three data points, there is going to be some uncertainty. This is not something you can take to the bank. It's not financial advice. I would not be surprised in the very least if we went slightly above it or if we did not make it to it to the top. Okay, so let's take it from that perspective. And with that in mind, let's see where it ranges from. So right now, you can see that the bull market support band uh, or sorry, the, well, the bull market support band is, is a lot lower. The, the regression band, the lower part of the regression band is at 58,553. Okay, so 58,553. And we actually barely touched it uh, in mid-February. So we came up to it, we barely touched it. We did not go to the top of the regression band yet. The last market cycle peak was at the top. The one before that made it to the top as well. And actually this one went about 5% over the top. And this one, if you if you really zoom in, you can see it also had a wick above it as well. So the thing is, is with this analysis, you know, it's not to say that, that Bitcoin will make it to that level, but it's to say that, I first of all, I do think that Bitcoin will make it to that level at some point this market cycle. It could make it there more than once for all we know. And again, this is increasing. The upper part of the regression band today is at 86,319, give or take, right? Give or take, depending on, on, on what sort of exchange, what, what exchange you're looking at. But it's around 86.3K. Some places it might be closer to 87K. But approximately 86 to 87K, this is where it currently is peaking out. So what, what that means is to say, if Bitcoin were to come up to this level in the not so distant future, it doesn't mean it's, it does not mean it's the top, but I would be very skeptical as to how much higher it can go from that point. So this is why I want people to keep it in mind. Not to say that we're going to go there because I don't really know what Bitcoin is going to do in the short term, but to just simply say, you know what? Let's be pragmatic. Let's be flexible. If it goes to the top of the regression band, you might want to be very cautious at that point because we know that the last time it was there, we had a major correction. The time before that, we had a major correction. Okay, so keep an eye on it. Right now, again, the bottom of the band is around 58.5K. The top of the band is about 86.3K. That's a pretty large range. But again, it, from the current price, if Bitcoin were to go up another 74% or so, we would be at the top of the regression band. And this is why we want to keep an eye on it. Now, remember, the regression band is increasing each and every day. Every day, it systematically goes up. And that is why I keep saying time is on our side. The longer it takes us to trend higher, the better off we'll be in terms of what, where I think we could ultimately go before a, a major cooldown. If we were to come back down to the bull market support band or something like this and then continue on up higher, then by the time we get there, it could correspond to, to a higher valuation according to the regression fit. If we go there straight away, then it might not go. It might not go as high. Um, now, one thing I want to show you guys, I haven't showed you before, but it's hard to see how quickly this is increasing. If you actually switch this over, uh, let's switch this over to here, and then we're going to switch this to an hourly time frame. And then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. Okay, we're going to zoom in, and we're going to try to get a feel. So you guys can see how quickly it's increasing. So when you zoom in on the hour time frame, you can see how, how the regression band increases each and every day. And here you can see, for instance, that it was 58.36, so 58,360. And then the next day it was at 58,420. So there it was going up about, about 60, 70 bucks um, in, in a day. Okay, so it's, it's going up. Every day that goes by, we know that the peak regression band is going higher. 
this is why I do not, this is one reason why I do not think we are anywhere, we're, I, I do not think we're at the peak of a market cycle because I, I, I think there's a lot of room to grow. There's also a lot of other indicators that suggest there's more potential upside ahead. That doesn't mean we can't have a correction before that happens. And personally, I wouldn't mind a correction to reload and, and then continue up higher. But my, my point here is to say that if we were to continue along this trend, and we're able to make it to the peak of the of the upper bound of the regression band, then we could be going to 86, 87k in the short term. And if it takes us a few more weeks, then it would this would probably correspond to 90k or even higher. So if we were to say draw a line through some of this data to see how quickly we've been going up, if we were to continue at this rate, keeping in mind that the, the regression band will slowly increase then we could be at the top of the regression band in in a couple months at, potentially and that would be actually a conservative estimate based on on this line um actually let me let me get this a little bit better so it maybe maybe in early may late april or something if this were to continue moving up at this rate and if we zoom in you can sort of see it's not the best fit by any means but essentially the idea is if we just sort of keep chugging along right if we just keep chugging along this curve then that is how long it could theoretically take us if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. We have the altcoin season sale. You can find a link to that in the description below. Make sure you sign up for that before the prices go up in about a week. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on alerts. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.